Hi, this is Nell, illustrator slash animator slash nerdy creative, and now, back after a year to give my impressions of the movie Tar while I paint what is most likely going to be my last hand-painted illustration before I join our artificial intelligence future overlords. I've been hesitant for the longest time because the topic is quite taboo. There is a lot of misinformation, many hot takes at both extremes, and some main canonical narratives that plenty of people take at face value because popular figures in the scene are saying them. If you don't align and actively voice out and support those ideas, you are not only shown outside the group, but campaigned against. The two major tactics at play are one, getting your social media following count to decrease by promoting mass unfollowing among groups or lists, and two, reaching out to employers, potential or current, or heads of education if you're still studying, so they cut relations with you. This is often done carefully behind closed doors, via DMs, or if out in the open, they don't tag you and even block you first so you don't realize what's going on and don't have a chance to defend yourself. This is because the narrative constructed around the idea of how much of a horrible person you are now does not correspond to reality, so of course they don't want you to chim in, give your side of the story, and rectify the villainized person of you going around. This is organized cancel culture, if you might, which is the topic the movie Tar revolves around and the reason why I got interested in watching it. If you haven't watched the movie, I, ha I highly recommend you to do before continuing with this video. If you don't plan to, I can give you a brief synopsis. The story revolves around a very successful orchestral composer named Lydia Ta, who, personality-wise, is everything the ultimate cliché of the white, rich, successful man is, with the difference that she is a lesbian woman. She is massively talented, has fans, power, and is respected in the highest spheres of her craft. She is a figure of authority in a university and speaks her mind freely in a borderline aggressive fashion, well, because she can. As it often happens with great geniuses throughout history, her talents come packaged alongside a huge ego. While some movie analysts have mentioned she chose to set aside her feminine qualities to benefit from the patriarchal system, I'll say it was the other way around. She didn't say that side her feminine qualities, she just never had them, making it easier for her to thrive in a system that rewards masculine traits because, aside from the fact she happened to be born a woman, nothing about her hints at femininity. At the very beginning, when I just read the synopsis and watched the trailer, I thought I would identify heavily with Lydia Tarr, given the scenes about her defending the argument about separating the art from the artist, an argument I mostly subscribe to, and how this exchange with a student of hers was recorded, chopped, stripped of essential bits, put back together, and thrown to the wild out of context in a way that rendered Tarr in a worse light possible, which is an experience I can also unfortunately relate to. However, it was not this particular incident that sent Tar on the long world spiral that ended up kissing her career goodbye. This happened tendentiously and intentionally to paint her as a monster in a misrepresentative way, yes, but just after her actual sin came to light. The unaliving of a former student with whom Tar had a fallout, and taking advantage of her reputation across the classical music scene, Tar decided to block this student from job opportunities in the industry, which calls for her former student to fall into depression, desperation, and finally taking her own life. Lydia Tar is talented, powerful, respected, popular, and authority in her field, but also petty egomaniac, dishonest, self-centered, a low-key bully, and pretty much actively engaging in the same conduct that men in power have been criticized for in recent decades. This includes taking advantage of their position not only for blocking opportunities and engaging in nepotism, but also as leverage to get into romantic relationships with people who admire them often in bulk, and neglecting the feelings and needs of the people close to them, seeing them as just yet another employee performing an easily replaceable function. 
It was this set of traits that marked Lydia Tarr's downfall, forcing her to flee the country once the scandal got leaked by one of those close people Lydia mistreated, turning her once successful career into a parody of itself. While I still subscribe to the argument that the art should be separated from the artist, I find it hard to identify with Lydia Tarr after witnessing everything she had passively done to ruin the lives of the loved ones she neglected, while actively ruining the lives of those who cross her in such an immature fashion. The argument of separating the art from the artist surely rings differently when it is said by an artist who will directly benefit from the idea. It's not the same to say to love is to serve when you are a loving person looking to serve than when you are a person looking to be loved and served. I couldn't identify with Lydia Tart in the end, but I did enjoy the movie. It makes you reflect and question your beliefs. And, well, this was my quick analysis. It's been over a year since I also uploaded a video, and uh, there is a long story regarding that which I can boil down to my electronic devices acting strangely, making me think I have been spied on. When you live alone with your cat in a city where women disappear, never to be seen again, you kind of freak out when that happens and want to put as little information about yourself out in the open as possible. It seems to have calmed down now, and I... Never really got to know for sure what was going on. We are going with the most benevolent explanation, which is uh, which boils down to the guys from the house next door breaking into my local network just in search for free Wi-Fi, and uh, we kind of just want to leave it at that without digging it further because we don't know. <laughs> we don't want. To possibly bump into information we might not want to know. I just want to be left alone, living my life painting, animating, genetically creating, and uh, well, this is it. I hope you are having an amazing day and uh, thank you for watching.